This is the moment robotics history was made. Beijing just staged the world's first human versus humanoid robot, Half Marathon, where 21 cutting-edge AI runners battled 12,000 humans over 21 grueling kilometers. Some robots sprinted like champions, others face-planted spectacularly, and one even started smoking mid-race. Might look like a quirky experiment, but it's China's shockingly fast push to mass-produce humanoids by 2027. I'm breaking down exactly how these robots performed, why Beijing risked this wild race, and what it reveals about the future of robotics. Let's go. The inaugural Beijing E-Town Humanoid Robot Half Marathon took place on April 13, 2025. The marathon covered a challenging 21-kilometer route through the city's technological hub. The race kicked off at the south square of Nongyan Park, winding through Beijing's economic technological development area, known as E-Town, before concluding at the National Information Technology Application Innovation Industrial Park near Tongming Lake. Organizers set strict technical parameters for competing robots. Each had to maintain a fully humanoid form factor with bipedal locomotion. Absolutely no wheels allowed. Height restrictions ranged from a compact 45 centimeters up to an imposing 2 meters tall, accommodating everything from child-sized prototypes to full adult-scale humanoids. The event permitted battery swaps during the race, but each exchange came with a steep 10-minute time penalty forcing teams to strategize between endurance and speed. Competitors had three and a half hours to complete the course, with cash prizes up to 5,000 yuan, about $690, adding real stakes to this technological showcase. The race was initially scheduled for April 13, but was postponed a week due to forecasts of strong winds. Before we continue, hit the like button to prove you're not a robot. As we've mentioned, 21 humanoid robots from China's leading research institutions and private firms lined up for this unprecedented challenge. The field included standout competitors like Tiangong Ultra, the 1.8-meter-tall flagship model from Beijing's Innovation Center of Humanoid Robotics. At the opposite end of the size spectrum came Little Giant, a 76-centimeter-tall contender developed by Beijing Polytechnic University that mimicked human gait with remarkable precision. Other notable participants included the N2 humanoid from Beijing-based Noetics Robotics, Shanghai Droid Robots X2 model, and Quavo by Shenzhen's Leiju Robot. The competitors represented a spectrum of control systems. Some operated via remote control, others functioned in semi-autonomous modes, while the most advanced models attempted fully autonomous navigation. Unitree, China's leading robotics manufacturer, had 61 humanoids in the race, though the company clarified these were operated by independent teams rather than their own engineers. The diversity of designs, from industrial-looking prototypes to robots with surprisingly human-like facial features, created a fascinating technological cross-section of China's burgeoning humanoid robotics industry. The postponed race date due to high winds proved prophetic, as several robots struggled with stability issues during the event. This mix of cutting-edge innovation and very human limitations made for a compelling showcase of where humanoid robotics stands today. The Beijing Humanoid Robot Half Marathon delivered both triumphant breakthroughs and spectacular failures that perfectly illustrated the current state of robotic mobility. Tiangong Ultra emerged as the clear champion, completing the 21-kilometer course in 2 hours and 40 minutes a respectable time considering its three required battery swaps and one recovery from a fall. Developed by the Beijing Innovation Center of Humanoid Robotics, this machine demonstrated remarkable endurance through its specialized leg joints engineered to absorb the punishing impact of long-distance running. Its navigation system proved equally impressive, utilizing real-time location tracking to autonomously adjust speed and direction throughout the varied urban course. While Tiangong Ultra's time lagged significantly behind the human winner's one hour and two minutes finish, its achievement represented a major milestone in robotic locomotion. The robot maintained an average pace just 10 to 40 minutes slower than recreational human runners, a remarkable feat considering it was carrying its own power supply and computational hardware. During development, engineers had collected motion data from professional athletes to train Tiangong's gait patterns, stride length, and posture an approach that clearly paid off in its stable performance. While Tiangong Ultra finished strong, many other robots barely made it past the starting line. 
Out of 21 competitors, only six managed to complete the full marathon. Unexpectedly, one of the Unitree robots collapsed immediately after the race began. Yup, probably the most agile robot right now, seemed like it was too tired to run, needing human assistance to even stand up. But fortunately, everything worked out, and it restarted and joined the race shortly. Shenong, fitted with drone propellers, spun wildly out of control, crashing into a wall and dragging its handlers down. Zhuanfeng Xiaozi performed well at first, but later fell face first, causing its head to detach. Engineers had to reattach it using duct tape just to keep it moving. The race's most memorable moment came from Little Giant, the smallest competitor. This adorable bot perfectly mimicked human running mechanics with coordinated arm swings until tragedy struck. The remote-controlled robot suddenly paused mid-stride and began emitting smoke from its head module. Similarly, some robots overheated, slowed to a crawl, or veered off course into barriers, needing constant intervention. Video footage captured it all, a chaotic mix of triumphs, wipeouts, and smoke, highlighting how far humanoid robots have come and just how much further they still have to go. Beyond the marathon itself, Chinese robotics firms seized the spotlight to unveil major technological breakthroughs. Diamond Robotics introduced the DM Hand One, a five-fingered robotic hand equipped with a revolutionary tactile sensing system. Each square centimeter of the DM Hand One is packed with 40,000 sensing units, allowing it to detect textures and measure force with millimeter-level precision, surpassing the sensitivity of human touch. To fully utilize this capability, the hand is driven by a hybrid control algorithm that combines both position and force control. This enables the DM Hand 1 to dynamically adjust its grip, handle objects of varying shapes and fragility, and perform highly delicate tasks like intricate assembly operations. Thanks to its fusion of ultra-high resolution tactile feedback and natural human-like movement, this hand marks a major leap forward for dexterous robotic manipulation with potential applications across manufacturing, healthcare, logistics, and service industries. PND Botics demonstrated major progress in bipedal locomotion with their humanoid robot, Adam. Using a novel reinforcement learning framework based on adversarial motion priors, Adam learned to walk with remarkably smooth and human-like patterns. Engineers created digital twin simulations, allowing the AI to practice millions of gait cycles virtually, using domain randomization to improve robustness. This knowledge was then successfully transferred to the physical robot through sim-to-real techniques. Adam's biomimetic design features a pelvis and limb structures that closely replicate human biomechanics, enhancing both the realism of movement and energy efficiency. These innovations enabled Adam to not only walk naturally, but also handle external disturbances and uneven terrains with human-like adaptability. Looking ahead, China's robotics roadmap calls for deploying 10,000 operational robots, including 2,000 humanoids, across E-Town's manufacturing facilities, healthcare institutions, and municipal infrastructure by 2025. The marathon served as both a stress test and publicity showcase for these ambitious automation goals. The Beijing Humanoid Robot Half Marathon revealed both the promise and limitations of today's robotics. While viral videos show Chinese robots performing impressive feats like bike riding, this race told a more realistic story. Robots competed in their own lane, requiring battery swaps with 10-minute penalties and human handlers to prevent falls. Oregon State's robotics expert Alan Fern told CNN he was actually very impressed, admitting he'd have bet against them. The winning bot, Tiangong Ultra, took its time, over an hour slower than human runners. Its engineer boasted to Reuters that Western rivals haven't matched this, but the frequent stumbles showed how far the technology still has to go. Human runners watched with amusement and reassurance. The separate lanes said it all, these machines aren't replacing us yet. While China's making strides, experts note no country or company has taken a clear lead in humanoid robotics. What we saw wasn't a competition between man and machine, but a fascinating test of how robots might eventually work alongside us, with all their current limitations on full display. The real story? Robotics is advancing, but still needs human help at every turn. Events like this show the technology's potential while keeping expectations grounded in reality. What we witnessed in Beijing was just the starting line. 
The real test comes at the World Humanoid Robot Sport Games this August, where robots will compete in track, football, and more. Will they close the gap with humans, or will their limitations become even clearer? What do you think? Drop your predictions below, and don't forget to subscribe for more on the AI and robotics revolution. See you at the next race.